Hello and welcome to the Shattered Aeons player card review. Uh, so this is the last pack, and normally this is where the big heavy hitters come, right? Yeah. That's I don't remember what's in this pack, so I'm not even looking at this. Okay. Travis said it's a doozy, so I don't know if that means it's bad or good, but let's dive in. It's trash. Ooh, that's a spoiler. Kerosene Arguable. is a three-cost asset that's uh, for one experience. Here Commits for a brain. Trash. It's an item. Uses three supplies. If kerosene has no supplies, discard it. Uh, as an action, if an enemy was defeated at this location this round, exhaust kerosene and spend one supply. Heal up to two horror from among investigators and ally assets your location. So I think the best part about this card is how you can be Carolyn Fern and you know someone comes to you with their problem and you're just like, what, okay. if, we, what if we lit all the people involved on fire? So I was that would make it better. Right? I was confused at first from the flavor because I thought they were eating the body because they lit it on fire. But then I see they're killing it and burning it so it'll never come back so they yeah, feel... Mm -hmm. That's them, cathartic. That flavor makes a lot more sense than what I initially <laughs> thought because I was like, they're going to like yeah. eat a rat? I mean, which is not bad, it's but they're so. like... Travis says this card is bad. I would say this card is niche. Uh, like if you're yeah, playing... Yeah, the reasons that you think makes it niche and I'll list reasons I think makes it bad. <laughs> So they might be the same reason. <laughs> and we'll, we'll, let, we'll let the viewers decide for themselves. If you're playing with an Agnes Baker, healing horror becomes much better than it otherwise would be. Secondly, if you're Carolyn Fern... You used that argument last pack. Yeah, I know. I do that a lot. <laughs> I do that a lot. If you're Carolyn Fern, you can use this to heal two people and give them both an extra resource. Uh, having to exhaust it to use it is... <laughs> It's <laughs> not, not great, but on the plus side, you don't have to be at the location when the enemy is killed. It yeah. just has to have been killed there this turn. Why does it cost one experience? Yeah, no, I'm finished. I have no more upside. Okay, potential so upside downside, it's cost three resources. That's a lot for blue, especially. It's costing experience. Experience is better for other things. This only commits for one brain. You can only use it three times before you discard it. It takes an action, you have to exhaust it, you have to spend a supply, and an enemy had to be killed here. Yeah, this is pretty yeah. This like, is pretty much a lot of hoops to jump through, and it co it's, this shouldn't cost one experience. <laughs> no, it, sh it shouldn't. Like, it should probably be level zero. Yeah. Just play, pay the extra experience and play your first aid level three, please. It's so much, or level two, whatever it is. It's so much better. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of hoops to jump through to make this work. There is. Yeah, which, as we know, Judgy doesn't like hoops. No. The art's pretty sick, though. Like, that's... That, it's a thing burning. Like, dinner. that's what I would expect. All right. Speaking of things burning, we have the Flamethrower. This one's actually, like, really, really good. This is a four-cost asset that costs five experience. It commits for a fist of fists and a wild symbol. <laughs> Exciting. It takes up the chest slot and two hands. It's an item weapon firearm. Do you get it? Firearm? Uh, uses four <laughs> ammo as an action. Spend one ammo. Fight. The enemy chosen for this attack must be the enemy engaged with you with the highest fight. You get plus four attack, f plus four fist for this attack. If the if attack is successful, instead of its standard damage, you may assign up to four damage among enemies engaged with you. Any additional damage adds to this total. Seems pretty sick. In my opinion, this is like this dethrones the lightning gun. As Travis, the best. Is that your review down there? Move aside, lightning no. gun. <laughs> the new could be, weapons though. is here. Uh, like it's just, I think it's just better unless you're trying to gun down like one specific. Unless you're trying to kill a boss. Yeah. And even then, like it's not much worse. Yeah. Like yeah, taking up the body slot isn't great, but you don't use also, that for too much. Yeah, there's not like a there's whole a, lot. We gonna the buy bandolier? like with your the other bandolier? five experience. You're gonna the leather or, coat, like the leather coat, the armor of or our the trench coat, uh, sorry, yeah, trench the coat. trench coat, the armor of our Dennis. Yeah. Uh, right. So trench coat. Why, why would you wear that? Yeah, tre and trench coat isn't in the flamethrower build either. Yeah. Like, no, yeah. no armor or Dennis. Things. Like, how did you afford both flamethrowers? Yeah, and, and also the same thing. The armor isn't probably in your build if you're doing the flamethrower. Yeah. So yeah. for like the bandolier, you don't need another weapon. You have this. Yeah, but you might. No, you just play it after. But and even if you're fighting one enemy, plus four and four damage to that enemy, <laughs> like that's. Really good still. Yeah. Yeah. Like no, it's this still incredible. Like, <laughs> this card's like this card's sixteen damage. Yeah. Divided as you choose. Yeah. And if you well, draw the second one, you don't want to play it for some reason. It commits for three fists. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. pretty alright. Seems pretty. Uh. Seems pretty cool. Yeah. I think. I think like lightning gun. Still has its place. Yeah, no, it's better for like if you're. I'm gonna go kill this one enemy. Mm -hmm. I think lightning guns better for that. I think if you're pl like if you're playing with a large number of investigators, flamethrower gets a lot better. What if we 
in our I think it's just our always really good. guardians. We are like like pyromaniac ghostbusters, and we all have flamethrowers, and we just do, go do. around burning everything. <laughs> Who are you gonna call ghost burners? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm, it also seems very flavorfully fun, and you'll feel powerful when you're mm -hmm. doing it, which mm -hmm. is always a win. That kind of player feedback will be good. Yeah. This one thing I don't like about the shotgun, in comparison to this, is that like it just doesn't feel as cool as it does in the other games. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas this card has always felt good. Yeah. Yeah, it seems cool, and I'm excited for the day one of us burns like four cultists to death at one time. That would be so cool. The action efficiency. So if when you read this card, you might think it's good. But then there's yeah, a don't. Twist. But then you play it when you or you don't. read it more carefully. So is this like the flavor? Because I forgot this. Is there like one bad card and one good card? Is that what we're going to be going with this? Yeah. The next I card think so. seems amazing. If I remember what that oh, was. Yeah, the next card is. It's a it? one-cost event that commits for a book and a fist. It's an, a book and a foot. Sorry, it's an insight vantage point. Fast play after a location enters play or is revealed during an investigator's turn. Until the end of the active investigator's turn, that location gets minus one shroud. You may move one clue to that location from any other location. I mean this again. So when it's a location is revealed, you get thing. minus one shroud. That location gets minus one shroud, and you may move one clue from that to that location from any location. So if you have like a shroud seven and you reveal a shroud two, you can pick up yeah, a clue and put a it there. From, yeah, it's okay. Like it's it, just supposed to be like useful with uh, Ursula. Yeah, it seems good, but it. Just isn't. There's like some minor uses, yeah. but it's just not worth it. You kind think. of have to know the campaign very yeah. well and have it early on. Mm -hmm. Like it's fine for Ursula to make use of her ability a little bit more. It's fine to like set mm -hmm. up some like action efficiency with like Rex or something. But um, maybe maybe this is good in like a Roland deck. Where you can move the clue there, and then the enemy spawns <laughs> yeah, so you, and then yeah. you shoot it, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. something like that. Um, yeah, you or it. like you're relying on those cards that need yeah, to have a clue on your location. The location getting minus one shroud is pretty negligible. If it didn't require so good, but that the investigation be revealed or put into play, if it was just when an investigator moves into a location, yeah. mm -hmm. I think this card would be quite playable. I think also it committing for only book or foot, kind of also hurts the card a lot yeah it's just i mean that's kind of flavor of insights though right is that they're very opportunistic yeah mm -hmm. a lot of them have uh their things like when the last clue is discovered or uh they just have very niche uses mm -hmm. as i've been discovering i've been playing <laughs> a lot of them lately oh <laughs> uh, yeah but i think this card's not too it's not great not but too exciting yeah this is like probably like a two or three for me yeah i give it a two I like how we only rate some of the cards. Like, Whatever. that's how we work. It's an easy way to quantify the ones that, like, like we don't have to say, yeah, this card's a 10 out of 10 when we're like this, when we're talking about Flamethrower, because we have lots of good things to say about it. Yeah. All right, Nicotic Manuscripts. This is a mind expanding ideas. It's a five cost uh, item relic tome that takes up one hand slot. It's an asset that uh, costs five experience, commits for a book in a wild, but you probably don't want to do that. Uh, uses three secrets as a reaction when an investigator location will perform a skill test during a revelation effect spend one secret do not reveal chaos tokens for that test you can just say screw you game mm -hmm. as an action spend one secret choose an investigator location do not reveal chaos tokens for the next skill test that investigator performs this round uh yeah so you know test of will that card's good right yeah, yeah, yeah. this card's like test of will but you get to pick the three skill tests that it's on it doesn't have to mm -hmm. be all just the ones you can perform this turn yeah, this thing's it's really good strong. for a lot of things. Yeah. <laughs> Not okay. just like ensuring you don't die around treacheries or whatever, but like, or investors at your location die around mm -hmm. treacheries. It's like really good for setting up big boss kills where you're like, yeah, I'm going to shoot my flamethrower and hopefully I'll miss. And you're like, you just yeah. don't. Uh, you <laughs> could, if you had a double or nothing, you could set up a sweet double or nothing turn and then just be like, we got yeah. it. This is all double, no nothing. It's all good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and it, a token. Uh, it's a relic, so. It's a relic, so Dr. Ellie can find it. It's a tome, so Daisy can use it for free. It's a tome, so uh, the, the Miskatonic Librarian can find it. Yep. Mm -hmm. So if you uh, like playing those characters, you should, you know, probably play this card. <laughs> yeah, yes. this is this is like one of the best cards that either of them can find. Yeah, yeah seems great. It should be a fact. Every time, yeah, mm -hmm. every time Bryn played it, we were like, yes. Yeah. This is great because this is great. I just did do what I want. The game doesn't get to play. Yeah. As, as and as I always say, if the game is not playing, you're winning. Oh, this is the weird. Uh, Netrunner card. Yeah. yeah. This is Borrowed Time. Yeah. This takes up a spell slot in green. This is, I think, the second card that does that. There's that other one. It's a one-cost asset. Suggestion. Yes, thank you. Three mm -hmm. experience. Commits for a brain or a foot. It's a ritual, and it is exceptional. It's very good. 
at being exceptional. As an action, place one resource on borrowed time as a click to a maximum of three clicks on borrowed time. Does not provoke attacks of opportunity. Forced. When your turn begins, remove all clicks from borrowed time. You may take that many additional actions this turn. So basically, you bank. When you have, you're sitting around and you're like, I'm just going to gain resources this turn. Unless... Yeah. I have this magic watch that I can put my resources into. I think the main downside to this card is that there isn't really a green character who wants to play this right now. Mm -hmm. uh, like I think I think the real home for this would be in a green fighter character, a green yeah. goon. Apparently, I've actually talked about this where, card quite a bit. You know, when you're playing the goon, there's a lot of turns where you're just like, I guess I'll gain resources because there's no enemies. What else am I going to do yeah. with this? You're like, I'll put all of my actions into this. And then the next turn, if you don't use those actions, you just use the actions as extra actions to put them back in. Yep. You know this card's really good with? The gun that has five bullets you have to discard at the end of the round. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the yeah. cult the cult test pocket. Yeah, it's also it's also quite good with the Chicago typewriter where you can spend a lot more actions to get a much higher bonus on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> If you would like to, uh, it's got some or, issues, um, but it probably isn't worth the six experience. Yeah, like six experience is a lot, lot and you kind of mm -hmm. like playing green, you don't really have the card selection to go find it. Mm -hmm. You're going to need somebody to help you with that. Yeah. But yeah, this definitely could put like has the potential to mm -hmm. get a lot better as the game grows and the player yeah, card. It's, yeah, this it's is another one of those powerful. cool cards it's just, and it's just like not good enough. The consistency of finding it is the issue here. Or should we get a purple character who cares about rituals at some point? Mm -hmm. Probably, yeah. Mm -hmm. But it is quite strong. Charlie Kane. Can Charlie Kane can, can do everything. Everything. His He's character is gold. Anyway, sticking to the one card that's kind of mad and the other card that's really good. All right, it's an action. All uh, not it's an action. It's an all in. It's a skill for five experience. Commits for two wild. It's a fortune. So Rex can't play it. Also, Rex it's can't play it. Level also, five. it's five. Also, level five. <laughs> nah, but the fortune is yeah. the main reason. Max one committed for skill test. If this skill test is successful, draw one card for each point you succeeded by to a maximum of five. Shovel each weakness drawn by this effect back into your deck without resolving it. Remember, we were talking about green not having good card selection. Mm -hmm. This is. This is like okay card selection. Green characters generally don't have very good stats. Like their stat lines are lacking. We're talking about Preston is phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So no, actually, but this is... actually succeeding a test by like you probably need it to be two or higher. No, you can like just put a bunch of cards for their a bunch of dirt cards for their plus skill whatever, and then just like reload them. Yeah. You Unless could. you like cycle cards at worst. Kind of, I mean, at worst it does actually nothing. But... Yeah. At worst, at worst you fail and get nothing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, if I could play these instead of unexpected yeah. courage in every deck, I would. Oh yeah, yeah. They also, they also <laughs> cost five. Experience. Oh, that's, that's a Justin level critique right there. Yeah. If this card was neutral, no, this is like for uh, <laughs> yeah. zero through. zero experience. I definitely would play it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this is for that like two or more deck. It's really good. Yeah, like you spend all your dirt cards on <laughs> making your tests anyway, <laughs> and this gives you more dirt cards. Yeah, for the downside tests is there just aren't quite enough payoff cards for that right now. <laughs> like close, if we had an investigator who cared about that, who wasn't Rex. When we do all greens, I'm gonna do this stuff. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm yeah. gonna play Preston and do nothing. That's fine. Um. No, I'm gonna play Preston and this deck. <laughs> <laughs> all, right. all right. So this could also be used in like. Um, the really expensive I paid five experience to help my friends draw a card green deck, right? Where it's like, yep. here Rex, succeed, get two clues, and draw your deck like you weren't doing that already. Right? That'd be pretty neat, actually. Um, this is another neat, like one of those combo cards that green gets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the downside is that it costs five, and green has a lot of very expensive cards that are very strong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, also, the art doesn't make sense to me. It's a guy shitting on the roof of his car. <laughs> but he's all in on it. He's all in. I on feel it. like they ran out of like poker card art, and they're they were like, let's let's just grab that one, put it on this card. Oh, that makes sense. Like, I imagine well, he's like coming to get me. If, if you this fuckers. goes wrong, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. but there's no one driving. Oh, no, no, no the lights are on. He's driving. There's a gate behind him. Like, this is it. <laughs> this guy's fucked. This guy drew the, the dark red shit. This guy auto failed or something like that. All right. Shards of the Void. Ooh, look at this. Oh, one. never mind. Both the purple ones in this pack yeah. are really good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's how purple is, though, right now. Yeah. It's like the new. It's the new. Oh, uh, we get to put the three and five experience cards in this one. Yeah. 
So uh, this is, takes up a spell slot, shards of the void, three cost asset, asset for three experience, commits for a brain and a fist. It's a spell. Seal zero. So you seal that means you take it out of the bag, put it on this card. Uses three charges and an action, spend one charge or release a chaos token sealed here. Fight. This attack uses brain instead of fist and deals plus one damage. You get plus two brain for this attack for each zero token sealed on charge of the void. For each zero token revealed during this attack, seal the seal that token on charge of the void and this attack deals one additional damage. So most of this card's actually irrelevant. <laughs> yeah. The only thing it does is it's comparable to Shriveling and you can play copies of it and they aren't named Shriveling. Mm -hmm. Like, this is, like, that's by far the biggest thing this card did for purple is like it's basically extra copies of Shriveling. Yeah. Uh, someone here says finally it seems like Olive McBride has found a new home, right? Where you can draw. Yeah, you can draw resolve, extra, right? Extra. That tokens. seems good with this as well, um, which seems a bit exciting. I also like that weird tension it creates where you're really excited when your Mystic player draws a zero and then they put it on the card and you're just like, ooh, this has made it harder for me to do well. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, this, this card is just like Shriveling 2.0. Yeah, it's just a uh, consistent. Damage it's, is good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm excited to try it with. I'm very excited to try all of my bride out, mm -hmm. and like do some stuff with that when we do our mono purple in probably two years from now. Let's be real. Yeah, like we're we're gonna be playing this game for a long time. Yeah. Uh, I don't have much else to say. This is like this. I think this next one has to be our favorite card from this pack. Oh card. yeah. <laughs> I don't even. I don't even care what else there is. This card is uh, it's incredible in all aspects. We're gonna get there. But right now, seal the seventh side over the threshold and beyond. Four cost, five experience asset that he commits spell for stops, stop. but don't do that. Yeah, commits for a brain and a wild yeah. symbol. Seal <laughs> the the dark red. You auto fail. Fuck you, chit. Uses seven charges. If seal the seventh side has no charges, or if it leaves play, remove it from the game. Forced. After a bad symbol, but not the baddest symbol because it's on this card is mm -hmm. revealed. During any skill test, remove one charge from seal of the seventh sign. This card, you look at it, you're like, this is a purple card that costs five experience and four resources to play. Like, it's got, it's a unique card. It's got a huge name, a huge, like, <laughs> subtext name. Uh, and you're like, man, this, the art's incredible. You're like, this card's going to be great. And it is. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. just look, as you start to, as you read this card for the first time, you get so hyped about it. And then, like, it just absolutely delivers on it. I can break one of these in two turns. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so... Um, I'm not happy about that. <laughs> uh, this, this card is really good with the shadows, so what, too. I remember you once said how many tests you should expect. It's like 14. Like, usually you can it's get... It's like, like 32, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Like, right. assuming assuming you don't have a messed up chit bag or, like, yeah. are sealing extra tokens or whatever, yeah. it, you should be able to get 32 tests before... Ish. Yeah, like, the, aver the average score it's 32. is 32. Yeah, so we get, like, 12. Assuming, so then, assuming an average chaos bag. So then you get the right. Book of Shadows, start adding charges, mm -hmm. and you get a little bit of even more than that. Yeah, the card's great, um, and it also, like, yeah, it just hits on all fronts. Travis, the art in this card blows my mind. I love the art on this fucking card. It's just, like, it's so, so mysterious, and you're like, what is that thing? I don't care. Lock that shit up. That's what we draw whenever we draw that symbol. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're like... <laughs> yeah, it's like Yogg Sothoth peeking through the yeah. Shattered Aeons or whatever, and you're like, ooh, hello. And he's like, I'm going to get you. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's for paying for resources to just play the card and like be like, don't worry about the yeah. red shit for a bit. The best part about this card is the assurance that once you get higher than minus four or minus five or whatever the worst value yeah. is in the bag, you are doing the thing yeah, you, you can just set beat. up to do. You are not failing. Mm -hmm. So this does, like, you just, you can beat the bag. Yeah. 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 It's yeah, so good. Very good. And I'm excited for our mm. mono purple when we all are reading books to get more charges yeah, on it. This card's kind of ass. <laughs> this card's got the oops problem all over again. Oh, I love the oops oh, problem. Oh, the red cards. One cost event. Oh, but Mark can play if he wants to evade we something. We can. Impromptu barrier tactic improvised. You may play it from your discard pod. You do shuffle it into your deck so it has the improvised ability. Evade. The chosen enemy gets minus one evade for this evasion attempt. If you played it from your discard pod, you may evade an additional enemy. With the evade X or lower, where X is yeah. the amount you succeeded by. So okay. Yeah, like it's this card's bad. Yeah, it's just not good. Like, firstly, there have to be two guys there. Secondly, you have to evade well enough to evade both mm -hmm. of them in the same attempt. Like, like the only place I would consider whatever. playing it is like in my base Wendy deck, where I want to throw it away, and then I can still get use out of it. <laughs> Yeah, and then, like then it's, it's not like, awful. It's, yeah, it's like you get to discard it to cancel a chip. It's and not you also awful. get to effectively commit it for plus one foot later. Yeah, and like she has it's base okay. four foot, like mm -hmm. you can It's not awful, but it will be sided out almost oh, yeah. immediately. Yeah. Yeah. 
No, it's, it's, it's definitely good either. Top of the list. I feel like this card should just not have the uh, same location X or lower. You should just be able to evade two if there are two there. Or if it was like evade and then if you beat it by X. Yeah, mm -hmm. by two like, or more. Doesn't but rain. that's not really the improvised no. thing. Actually, if the, if the evade was equal to or lower, right, then you mm. could evade two of the same enemy. The, but that's just, that's just, you're kidding me. You're joking. It's re got Rita Young on it. Yeah, yeah, I'm not playing that card. I actually think that might be good in your deck. Like, that's that's the place it would you be You evade with, right? like, base seven. It's true, but. Yeah. But even so. This card's really good. Yeah, this card's great. <laughs> uh, one cost event, uh, three experience, commits for a wild. Alter Fate, it's a spell and blessed. Fast, play during any lightning bolt player window. Uh, choose and discard from play a non-weakness treachery that is not attached to an elite enemy. So you can't use this to discard a poison card because those are weaknesses, mm -hmm. but that's okay. No, I really don't like about this card. It's crunching up the tower card, but you can't crunch up the tower card because yeah, it's a weakness. <laughs> also, why would you? Because it's just... Yeah, like, it's once just, it's in play, it's dealt with. It's yeah, over. but still, it's just... <laughs> come on, guys. It is a bit of a flavor fill. Yeah. Like, I understand why there was the bad one. But yeah, but... you know, sometimes your goon is like, I have brain too, and I can't get out of this frozen in fear. And you're like... Worry not, wor worry not uh, Finn. You are now lower <laughs> lost to the voice of the jungle. No, yeah. This yeah. card's really nice just in general. Like, it's got a, a solid effect. It can dig mm -hmm. you out of problems that, like... You otherwise just wouldn't have the act. Yeah. Like, you get a thing that's like, oh, you can't attack enemies with Doom at your location. You just drew an enemy that turn. You can be like, no, I just will. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. It's It's got good subtypes that allow it to be played in, like, outside of red decks. It's a mm -hmm. nice experience mm -hmm. sync for red decks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is uh, like It's got really cool flavor text. Mm -hmm. It is the first blessed card that I think you might want to play in a Father Mateo deck yeah. that is not purple. Yeah. Because the other one is, like, extra bullets. Yep. Being a spell, it means Mary Lumbo can play mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it just, it it's basically just... says no to a card yeah. that's in play. It's like a, it's basically like a, a Ward of Protection style card that if someone that draws a card, you works retroactively. Just, yeah, so, like, yeah. Ward of Protection's great. This one is also very good. Um, yeah, like, this is very rarely my first buy, but like I said, it's a very good experience to sync mm -hmm. late it game. It for a while, but don't do that. Yeah, especially if the red decks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, that is um, Shattered Aeons, and I think there's enough great cards in here that makes this pack very worth it. Yeah, it depends what you're looking for. Like, if you find yourself running ex or having extra experience and you want something to sink into, yeah, this is a great one. Mm -hmm. um, I guess if you're just building Sand Wall, it's also, like, really good, unless yeah. you don't like playing with weaknesses because you're, you're a baby. You're weird. If, if you're playing this game standalone, you're weird. I'm just going to say that. Right well, here. no, they can be a budget player. Yeah, or maybe you're playing with an irregular play group. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah still... I'm just saying. Not everyone has a fortune of being able to have two friends over to play this game consistently every Wednesday for like three years, Justin. It's true. It's true. <laughs> just play the game two-handed then. Make your own friends. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah this, is, this is a really good pack. Yeah, it's a very good pack, cards. but they are very expensive cards. So. Yeah. Like, it might not be for you, but like if it isn't, you're probably weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're one of them weirdos, aren't you? Thanks for watching. We'll see you in 2026 when we do the uh, Circle Undone player card piece. So you guys have a good one. And bye.